Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Megan, and I'm finally, finally having a moment in this crazy world that I live in to sit down in front of my computer and answer all of the beautiful questions that you have Let's sent. not waste any time with Jibber Jabber. Let's get right to the questions and stay till the very end, and I'm going to tell you about the book I'll be doing next. So here we go into the Q&A video. So before I answer the very first question, please go ahead and listen as I apologize if I murder your username. Because let's be honest, some of them are kind of crazy. And I don't know how to pronounce them. My college education did not teach me these things. Um, so with that, I apologize. The very first question is, what's your favorite book? And that comes from Moya Girl. Well, Moya Girl, my favorite book is actually a book I read way back in the seventh grade. And that was called The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton loved that book and I don't know what it is about it that I loved so much that resonated within my mind all these years but till this day it's my favorite book however I do love my Fifty Shades, Twilight and Hunger Games are probably my best series and favorite series that I've ever read. Miss Janice you also want to know if I caught up with Grey's Anatomy yet um yeah I see you follow me on Twitter Actually, no, that was the only episode I'd ever watched, and here's why. It was a musical episode. For some reason, the lesbians were in a car accident, and when she came out, everyone was singing. So I'm thinking, holy hell, Grey's Anatomy is kind of like a glee, and I didn't know it. Um, how did I not know it? So I started watching it, and I realized that's they're not a musical show, that I obviously just called it on some fluke. So after that... Um, Never watched it again, but hey, I hope uh, the lesbians worked it all out. I hope she's okay, and maybe one day I'll try again. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question. This question comes from a fan who I adore, Miss um, Isabella8192, and I know you follow me on Twitter, and I see your tweets, and we've talked multiple times, so this one's for you, girl. Um, you asked, what's my favorite movie and book? And also, am I going to be doing any uh, movie reviews? Um, I have intended to do movie reviews, and I may be doing one dressed exactly like this in just a minute um, on the campaign with Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis, Jason Sudeikis. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing that. That actually may be a little easier because that may be my vlog that I do once a week. Um, I see a lot of movies with the fiancé. Um, as for my favorite movie, my favorite movie is Gone with the Wind. Um, I absolutely love Vivian Lee. I absolutely adore anything with Audrey Hepburn. I absolutely love anything with Marilyn Monroe. Um, it's kind of crazy. In fact, um, if I lean it up, you can see a picture of Vivian right there. There's actually three that are like, kind of like stacked. And the one with Vivian is signed by her that my father got me. And all three photos actually came from the house that the book was written in. Um, and, yeah, because I love it so much, I'll show you my tattoo on my foot. And it says, frankly, my dear. So, yeah, um, love that movie and by far my favorite of all time. Tracy Carnes asked me who I would like to see Miss Robinson play in um, the Fifty Shades movie. I have thought about this a lot. I have considered supermodels. I have considered sexy people on TV. Um, the girls from Sex and the City. Um, I have thought about it hard. And in a moment of just sitting back and in my mind thinking, this woman is not supposed to be just drop dead gorgeous. Okay, it never says that. What it says is that compared to Anastasia, who's very self-confident, or you know, that doesn't have any self-confidence, to her, she is beautiful. So, this woman is supposed to be older. She's supposed to be beautiful, which means she has aged gracefully and still somebody who is very attractive. In my mind, I think of somebody like John Stamos or George Clooney, who's still older, but extremely attractive. And I came up with the woman who plays the evil witch on the ABC show, um, Once Upon a Time. Two Little Bugs asked me, what are my five favorite TV shows? Um, my very first TV show that will always be my favorite, and it went off air, was Chuck. Zachary Levi, I love you. Please marry me. Um, I will become a Mormon for you and have multiple, multiple husbands. Um, but Chuck was by far my favorite show. I am a self-proclaimed nerd. I love video games and computers, and it's kind of crazy. I actually have, like, bobbleheads and Transformer masks and Batman Converses. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy how big of a nerd I am. So, that 
show was just my absolute favorite, and I was just devastated when they decided not to air it anymore. My second favorite show is The Big Bang Theory, another set of nerds that I absolutely love. In fact, I am in love with Sheldon Cooper, and I want Amy Farrah Fowler to be my best friend. Um, I love How I Met Your Mother. That uh, His past season was kind of crappy, but I do have every DVD. Now I'm really excited to see the new show, except at least it's Gay Cop from Reno 911 is going to be coming on. Um, I also love Modern Family, which is really fun, and I love the reality show uh, Call of the Wild on Animal Planet. Guys, go watch, go watch the Turtle Man on Animal Planet. He rescues these animals with his bare hands, and it's so funny because he's backwoods Kentucky, and he tweets me, and it makes my life, and it's a yee live action. I mean, it's awesome. You have to watch it. Says so Miley Me Thirty Nine wants to know what's my favorite kind of book. Um. I like books that can keep me interested. I do a lot of my reading laying out by the pool um, when I have time on the weekends. And so it's got to keep me entertained from the moment the sun comes out to the moment the sun comes down. So if I can't sit down and stay interested in you long enough to get some sun and get my tan going on, we got the problem. Um, so my favorite type of book is autobiographies, actually. I love to read about other people's lives. Um, in fact, I've read, like, every Betty White novel, um, Fred Astaire, Vivian Lee, Audrey Hepburn, you named it. I've, I've read it. Doris Day is one of my favorites. Um, but I also just like a good love story, um, a murder story, a vampire story. I mean, really, I just love books that keep me entertained. Um, Melissa Pecor asked, what's my favorite part in the second book of Fifty Shades? Um, it's just about being a little disturbed by Kristen Stalkerish and being controlling. And girls, if you see that in real life, ruin. Okay? Um, I mean, it's sexy when your boyfriend or gets a little jealous that a boy's talking to you. It makes you feel, I don't know, good inside to know that he cares that much about you that you're that he would get jealous. However, if a boy is calling you and stalking you, Red flag, get the hell out of there. Um, but my favorite part of book two, which is Fifty Shades Darker, um, I kind of like the raunchy sex scenes myself. I think that's my favorite. I think it's kind of cool seeing Anastasia become okay with her body and the way she looks and willing to let Christian explain how things work. And it's not just because they were hot, need a cold shower sex scenes. It's because they truly... She's becoming a woman. I think that is so awesome when a woman becomes completely comfortable in her skin. I mean, honestly, like, I have, like, very little, no, no, like, face on. I mean, this is just pretty much my skin. I mean, that's not perfect. We all have our imperfections, and that's okay, guys. It's so, the most important thing to be a woman is confidence and to be okay with who you are. So that made my heart sing when I finally saw Anastasia come into her own. Cream Butterfly 0911, uh, this question's really funny. She asks, or he asks, did your boyfriend or I guess fiance Ron find out what Fifty Shades is about? Did he become uncomfortable with you reading the book after he knew? Um, yeah, because I was sitting beside him giggling saying, oh my God, you have to read this. I'm going to read this out loud to you. Um, no, he wasn't uncomfortable. I mean... If girls are getting turned on by these and they're having sex with their boyfriends, I don't see why they're becoming uncomfortable with them reading it. I mean, it's just silly. No, he thought, you know, he calls them my little porn books, <laughs> which it's not. I mean, it's just a good read, and he thought it was funny and was excited that I was into something and I finally found a book that had been, I had been looking since The Hunger Games for something that really sparked my interest, and this is what I've stumbled upon. So, um, no, and I think if you're a boy and you're uncomfortable with it, shove off. I mean, I'm uncomfortable with you staring at girls' asses everywhere I go, but I deal with it. So, this is just a slap in the face. Deal with it, boys. That's girl power. Hi, Gretchen. Um, you just followed me on Twitter. I know who you are. Um, you asked me what are some of my favorite books I've ever read. Um, I've kind of already answered that, but you asked who my favorite authors are, and I actually love um, Nicholas Sparks. I haven't really got to say that out loud yet. I love his books, and not because they're girly or they're romantic, but because they're so well written. Now, don't get me wrong. I loved Fifty Shades of Grey, but the actual writing was crap. It was a story that was behind the writing that was good. But with Nicholas Sparks, you get a very well-rounded of the whole entire thing that makes you an author. Um, so that... I think anybody who's not read The Lucky One or The Best Part of Me, any of those, The Notebook, 
go read them. They're awesome. Aubrey Colin, you're just in time. Um, if your real name's Colin, I'm hella jealous. If it's because you think you're marrying Edward, you're dead. <laughs> I will kill you if that means um, to get you one less person I have to deal with in order to marry my vampire. Um, but she asked, what's my opinion of Miss Robinson in Fifty Shades of Grey? I think that she truly loved Christian. I think that it's one of those, starts out as a flirtatious thing, but I think she truly loved him. And I think it's one of those things where it doesn't work out. You go your different ways, and you're still in love with them. You're hopelessly in love with them, and you hold on any way that you can, and it doesn't matter if it hurts you or not. Um, but I think in the end, she learned to back off, and instead of being in love with them, well, because she was in love with them, she was just protective of them. I mean, you can imagine loving somebody and some girl coming and taking them, and now all of a sudden, like, who the hell do you think you are? I could take care of them better than you. And I just think it's just an older woman that just maybe lost her way. But I think she's a good human being in the end. All right, Miss Kelly on Twitter, you asked me what my favorite kind of music to listen to was. I don't have a favorite type of music. Um, however, if you get in my car, you're probably going to hear some metal and you're probably going to hear some rock. Um, those seem to be my, I love Cavo. I love um, Red Light King. Avenged Sevenfold. I love a lot of hard rock music. However, my favorite is Theory of a Dead Man. And I love Tyler Conley, and he is my future baby daddy, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, but I do love rock music. However, I love country music. Blake Shelton, I love you. Um, Dirk Bentley, I love you. However, Luke Bryan, call me maybe. I um, love Luke Bryan because he makes my speakers go boom, boom. Tay Tay's new song, uh, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. I mean, it's just great music. I love pop. I love Justin Bieber. I love Brit Brit. Brit Brit. Whoop, whoop. Nicki Minaj. I mean, y'all know me. I love all types of music. So, um, no, don't discriminate. Bring it all on as long as it makes me move like a little bit like that and pop it or something. I mean, I can't dance. But if I could, it'd be awesome. So, those are my favorite types of music all. <laughs> so, the last question off Twitter that I'm going to be able to answer because YouTube's yelling at me that my video is getting too long and I still have the book to talk about um, is from Miss Madeline. And Miss Madeline asked if I would wrap some of Nicki Minaj. Obviously, she saw where I did um, a song in one of my videos one day. I remember wearing the shirt. Um, and she asked me to do a little rap for her. So, my favorite song off there is actually Roman's Revenge. However, I think it may be a little too graphic. My mom and dad do watch these. So, instead, I will be singing for you today, um, Super Bass. However, if you really want to hear me get down and dirty, you may you, you hit me up on my call me maybe. <laughs> I cannot sing. But sure, I can rap. So, in four, three, two, one. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top down AC with the coolest system. When they come up in the club, they be blazing up. Got sex on deck like he's saving up. And he heal, he heal, he might got a deal. He pop bottles and he got the right kind of bill. He call, he talk, he might sell dope. He always in the air, but he never fly coach. He a motherfucking trip trip, seller of the trip trip. When he make a trip trip, kiss him on a lip. Like that's the kind of dude I was looking for. And yes, you get slapped if you look at home. I said, excuse me, you're a hell of a guy. I mean, my, 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 you're like pelican fly. I mean, you're so shy and I'm loving your tie. You're like sick of him. Guy with a thing on his eye. Oh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please tell him who the F I is. I am Maggie Pop and I got some dudes up. That coops up and just you suck. So, that is all of my Q&As that I had time to answer. And I'm so sorry that I did not get to answer them all. But maybe one day we'll do a second Q&A. Um, but I want to spend this last few seconds talking about a book that I'm going to be reviewing called Switch. Try to get done. If you think this is going to be good. If you like this Q&A, if I did not answer your question, if you think I should do another Q&A on another subject, leave it down here in the crotch, and I will promise I'll try to respond. Follow me on Twitter, at Miss Falk. Um, you can find me on Facebook, all the good social media places. Um, and make sure you subscribe and tell everybody and share the video, and let's get Nerd Nation going, people. Until next time, laters, baby.